If you've played a lot of Super Mario 64, you may have seen situations where Mario suddenly appears in an impossible position, if only for a frame. Many of these occurrences are due to code which, ironically, is meant to keep Mario aligned with the ground below him. Similar code is run when Mario is crawling, sliding, running, or pressed against a wall, and only affects how he was displayed on screen. Here's how it's supposed to work. As Mario nears a change in slope, he gradually rotates to match it. To achieve this effect, the game checks the height of the ground at three points around Mario, one directly behind him and two points ahead of him, off to the left and right. A transformation is computed to align Mario with the triangle formed by these points, positioned at its centroid. This is the actual size of the triangle. I've altered the ROM so that the triangle is redrawn whenever it is updated. This way, it follows Mario as he crawls. Moving along the edge of the slope, we can see the two front points of the triangle land on either side, so that Mario is only tilted halfway. On a steeper slope, the triangle will of course appear much larger. The transformation aligning Mario with the surface skews his facing and movement directions away from up or downhill, compared to the tilt of the analog stick. This makes controls rather confusing. When Mario crawls or slides off an edge, the front vertices of the triangle don't go all the way to the ground below. If any of the three vertices is 120 units below Mario, it uses Mario's Y coordinate instead. This effect causes Mario's sudden shift in position on this steep platform. For a small enough drop, the front vertices do end up on the ground below, and Mario appears to lean up or down. By contrast, if Mario crawls towards the blue coin box from the ground, he doesn't start to tilt upward. This happens because the radius of the triangle of sampled points is only 40 units. Under normal conditions, Mario can't be within 50 units of a wall, so none of the triangle points can end up on a platform above him. With some understanding of wall hitboxes, we can find exceptions. If we approach a sign from the corner, we can put one vertex on top of it. An inconsistency in the wall hitboxes and the entrance to Peach's secret slide leads to the same result. The most surprising cases happen when there is a floor just above Mario. When identifying the floor below a point, the game will accept a surface 78 units above that point, which can be used to exploit misalignments. On its own, this isn't much of a problem. But for some reason, the nominal starting points in this case are 150 units above Mario. This means that the triangle vertices can end up on a floor substantially above Mario's standing height. Here, Mario is actually underneath the step, but the top surface is detected when the three sample points are taken. The platform above this box happens to have double-sided surfaces, so there are floor triangles as well as ceiling triangles on the bottom. Thus Mario seems to disappear. When Mario is running or pressed against a wall, a simpler process takes place. The ground is sampled at two points five units away. When running, the two points are in front and behind. Against a wall, they're to the left and right. Mario is tilted to align with whichever one gives a steeper slope, leaving his y-coordinate unchanged. There are still a handful of visual bugs of this sort that I haven't figured out, but hopefully I've removed a little bit of the mystery for you.